activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Fluffy Wonders. Wow, Barry, you make painting look so fun. It is fun, Mika. Whoa, I want to try that. Hmm, not quite what I pictured in my head. That looks great, Blippi. Remember, there are no mistakes in art. It's Bowie! Oh, hey! How you doing, Blippi crew? Wow, rainbows are the coolest. <gasps> we should paint a rainbow next. Oh, what a great idea. Hey, I love this guy. Hmm, I wonder. How do you paint a rainbow when you only have red, yellow, and blue? Oh, three colors is all we need. I'll be right back. Come on, Debo. <laughs> oh, uh, I gotta do a quick appearance in New Zealand, but I'll be back to check out your paintings. Bye-bye, Bowie. Wow. What's that? It's the Paint Mixer 5000. It's gonna help us make a rainbow. Are you ready, Debo? It's mixing time! Whoopsie! Wrong button! Whoa, Debo! You're orange now! But how did red and yellow make orange? It's because red and yellow are primary colors, and blue too. When you mix two primary colors together, you make a secondary color, like green, orange, and purple. So cool. Next, let's make green. You got it, Debo. Pour in the yellow and blue. New color coming up. Here we go, here we go. Now all we need for the rainbow is my favorite color, purple. Maybe if we mix red and blue. We haven't tried that yet. Now we just need to mix these together. And shake it up. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> Yay. Let's go paint that rainbow. Why just paint a rainbow when you can experience a rainbow? Come on, let's go. Ready to experience a rainbow? Yeah. yeah. Hit it, Debo. Yeah. Surf's up. I love artistic expression. Oh, wow, we zip zoom bang. You made a full rainbow experience. I love it. I truly feel seen. And I got the answer to my question How do you paint a rainbow with only red, yellow, and blue? You mix them to make orange, green, and purple. Upload answer, Debo. Let's party! Yahoo! <laughs> you can't catch me, Mika! Oh, yeah? Look out for my ultimate cartwheel! Here I come! Whoa, whoa, Watch out! Whoa! 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 A secret clearing! You're right, Tabs and Debo. This does look like a perfect spot for a playground. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? Great question. Let's design it and build it. <laughs> All right. First, we need a big play structure. Maybe it can look like a rocket. That's a great idea, Mika. <laughs> it's gonna need lots of shade. Looking great, Debo and Tabs. Hmm, next we'll need a zip line. Whee! Ho <laughs> ho yeah! And a musical bridge. 
Yeah! Oh, wow! We definitely need a slide. All right. Oh! Whee! Yeah! Uh-oh, Blippi! Looks like a storm is brewing! Five minutes until rain! Oh, no! We better hurry. How about a racetrack? Four minutes until rain! We definitely need a stage. Whoa! Whoa! Three minutes until rain! We definitely need a splash pool. Two minutes until rain! Ow! And we definitely need a, a ball pit! pit. Wow! Yikes! One minute to rain! Take cover, everyone! Whoa! We did it! Yar! I'm Captain Blippi. Let's set sail for the open seas. Yar! Aye, aye, Captain! Whoa! 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 <laughs> hmm, something is missing. That's it! <laughs> it's perfect! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? It's Blippi-tastic! Upload answer, Debo and Tabs. Awesome work, everyone! This calls for a celebration! Yeah! Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika, Debo, and Tabs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, who were they? We better go find out. Hey, Blippi! Mika! Over here! Can you help us? We'd love to help. The name's Boom. We're looking for something that we need, but we can't remember what it's called. And I'm Benjamin. The thing we need is kind of shaped like this, but with a less bouncy stick. Whoa! Whoa! Booms away! Whoa! And it's frozen, like this. I'll get you out, Debo. Looks like you gotta shake it up. Oh, yeah. Shake it up. Whoa! Purple! No. Yellow! No. Oh, hi, Blippi and Mika. I'm Barry. Can you help me find something? <laughs> sure. We would love to help. It's usually red. Red. Got it. But it can also be purple. Or orange. Green. Or every color. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> Hello! I'm Blue. I need the yummy for my tummy. You're looking for something that tastes good. It's a yummy and makes me feel happy inside. Oh, no! Hugs? <laughs> What's that? No, it's not that. Not that either. Was it... Boomsicle? Whoa! Oh, yay! Flippy and Mika, I'm Babel. Can you help me find this word? Let's sound it out. Something... Sickle? Tricycle? Bicycle? Whimsicle? Good idea, Tabs. Let's review our notes. 
It's rectangular and has a stick. It's frozen. It could be any color. It makes you feel happy. And it sounds like something sickle. Hmm, this is tricky. Popsicles! <laughs> you were looking for popsicles. Yeah! Hey, who are you all? Boom! Benjamin, Barry, Blue, Bubble! And we are the Curiosity Crew. Wow! I got the answer to my question. Who were they? They are my new friends, the Curiosity Crew. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! All right! Look at all those adorable penguins! Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around! Wow! I think those penguins are flying! Wait a minute! Those aren't penguins! You're right, Debo! I don't see any penguins flying! Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers! Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive shimmer stripe iceberg. The shimmer stripe iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. <laughs> All right. Here we go! Whee! I spy a detour! I'm gonna catch some serious air! Watch this! Yay! Whoop! Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the shimmer stripe iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> Whoa! Not this one. No shimmer stripes here. Whoa! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the shimmer stripe iceberg. Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go. Whoa! Come on, Debo. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> whoa, -oh. whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I guess it's not the same as flying, but we did catch some serious air. Pepper, you're so I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes. Bye, Pepper. Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, 
How many teeth does a shark have? <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller. Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello, I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoa! Someone called the Tooth Fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Choo! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the boss. <laughs> I'm in the lead. Ah, baby chick straight ahead. Change course. Silly somersault. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Tabs. Hi, I'm Penelope. Can you help me? I think I'm lost. Good question, Tabs. I wonder. How can we help Penelope find her way home? What's the last thing you remember, Penelope? All I remember is following a rainbow leaf. And now I'm here. Great thinking, Tabs. We should shrink down to Penelope's size so we can see things like she does. Shrinking down! Look! Penelope's footprints! Let's retrace her steps. Penelope, wait for us! Oh. <laughs> it's so squishy! <laughs> Come here, Rainbow Leaf! Penelope, that's a butterfly. <laughs> a butterfly? Oh. Penelope, does any of this look familiar to you? Um, no. But I do remember a forest of yellow suns. Blippi, look! That's it! Oh, you mean yellow sunflowers, Penelope. 
Penelope? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty up here. We made it! Mini celebration dance! Can you see your house from here, Penelope? No, but I remember something. A field of black and white clouds. I hear cows mooing over there. Oh, Penelope, those aren't black and white clouds. They're cows. <laughs> Whoa. That looks like fun. <laughs> Oh, oh. Come on! The cows are this way. That was fun. Hey, Tabs! Tag! You're it! Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> oh, whoa! Woohoo! Whoa! You can't catch me! Woohoo! Whoa! And I got the answer to my question. How can we help Penelope find her way home? We helped Penelope find her way home by using our eyes and ears to observe the environment around us. Upload answer tabs. Ooh, a fuzzy, buzzy, wuzzy. <laughs> Bye, Penelope. Ta-da! That egg looks egg-tastic, Blippi. <laughs> Thanks, Mika. What should I paint on my next one? Wow! Hi! <laughs> Whoa! Catch that egg! Whoa! Hello, world! Whoa! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Oh. Hi there, Blippi! I'm Beanie the Jelly Bean! A super surprise is waiting for you when you find all the eggs. Are you ready for your first clue? It's a scavenger hunt! Hmm, I wonder, can we find all the eggs that lead to the super surprise? <laughs> Here's your first clue. Ahem. When you want to bust out a silly dance, try this spot to spin and prance. Silly dance, spin and prance. Oh, I think I know just the spot. The theater. Hmm, but where's the next clue? <laughs> I think he wants us to join in. Check out this loose board. Our second clue. Hi, I'm Cheep Cheep. I've got your next clue. <laughs> You've solved one clue for your Easter party, but you'll get even closer if you follow Do Re Mi Mi Mi. It's a musical clue. To the musical bridge. <laughs> Stop! Oh, stop! <laughs> Try copying me. La, 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 la. Let's play along with Chi Chi. La, 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 la. It's working! Our third clue! Oh, no! We'll save you, little egg. Oh, here it is. Howdy, I'm Rocket, the fastest chocolate rabbit in these parts. Staying right here would be unwise. You gotta chase me to find your super surprise. <laughs> the chocolate chase is on! Whoa, look at Rocket go. You've almost got him, Debo. It's the super surprise! We did it! Debo, look out! Whoa! Wow! Now that's a super surprise! 
<laughs> Thanks, Beanie, Cheep Cheep, and Rocket for answering my question. We found our super surprise. The treat baskets. Upload answer, Debo. But I wonder, who hid all the eggs? Flippy, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out. Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great. We're the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And, and we, we must, must protect it. What can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have. Protect the Earth. We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! But don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the earth breathe. <laughs> when it's the home for you and me, planet Earth is the place to be. Is it, Blippi? Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy, too. From the elephants on the savanna to the polar bears at the North Pole the monkeys in the jungle Yeah, we all call the Earth our home When it's the home for you Have a picnic. There are a bunch of ants, Tabs, and they're all walking together. Hmm, I wonder, why do ants walk in a line? Good idea, Tabs. We can shrink down to ant size and find out. I'm gonna need spider legs. Spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Hi, y'all! Welcome! I'm Anita, and this is my group of amazing ants. Hey! It's me, Blippy, and this is Tabs. Anita, we're here to find out why ants walk in a line. Well, 
I'll jump on in our line and find out. We're going to get snacks for a big old potluck back home. Thanks, Anita. Sounds yummy. You betcha. Well, hi, Maribel. Oh, my, that snack you have looks delish. So, where'd you find the food? A heap of thanks for the info, Maribel. We ants exchange information through our antennas. Let's go, y'all. <gasps> Uh-oh. Nice birdie. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? Hello? Anita? Hello, we're here. Right back on the trail, sweet pea. There's a trail? I don't see it. You can't see it because it's a smell. When we walk, we drop a scent, and the ants behind us smell it using their antennas. So ants have antennas instead of noses? <gasps> Look, your antennas are twitching. That's right. My antennas are a twitching because they sense something tasty in this direction. Careful, y'all. Bumpy road ahead. <laughs> Anita led us right back to our picnic blanket. My word. OK, ants, let's get some food. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Grapes are good, walnuts are yum, cheese and crackers, I'm tickled pink. I can't believe that ants can lift all that. Yes, sir. We ants can carry more than 10 times our own body weight. Okay, y'all, let's hop on that trail and follow the scent back home. Just like follow the leader. Now I have the answer to my question. Why do ants walk in a line? Ants walk in a line because the ant in front drops a trail of smells behind her, and the other ants follow it. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Bye, Anita. Great to be in a line with y'all. Bye-bye, <laughs> Blippi.